Welcome back. I'm Ted Thomas, and in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, how to buy tax-defaulted properties. I'm also going to give you some inside tips on how to make money with those properties. And before I finish, at the very end, I'll show you some things for newcomers to avoid at the auctions that are very important. So stay with me. I'll be back in just a minute. How to buy tax defaulted properties. Uh, not only is this a fun business, but once you learn how to do it and you want to be an investor, you can do this for decades. This is a business of abundance. There's always too many tax defaulted properties. I can estimate two to three million tax defaulted properties this year. There's over 5,000 tax defaulted auctions and 99% of the people don't even know about it. You can generate 100 and 200% profits day in and day out in this business. You can make 25, 50, and $100,000 on one deal and do it on a regular basis. Okay, so let's kind of go through some foundational material, just basic things. If you're living in the United States, you live in a republic. The republic allows you to buy and sell and improve property. However, there's one thing that you must do. And what you must do is you must pay property taxes. And unfortunately, for many reasons, people don't pay property tax. Now, property tax is an encumbrance. It's a burden on the property. All right, the government needs that money. It's a tax burden. It's always going to be there. If you won't pay it, the government will confiscate the property. They'll seize the property. They'll add up whatever you owe them, whatever the fees are, and they'll resell it and put it back on the tax roll. They have to keep properties on the tax roll so they can pay the county employees, so they can fix the roads, so they can pay the school teachers. You get the idea. The county has a lot of bills to pay. But let's talk about these tax defaulted properties, okay? Now, every county will have some of these that they want to sell. Now, why will they want to sell them? They want to sell them because they want the property on the tax roll generating money. So if nobody bids, in some cases, they'll drop the prices way down. In other cases, if they wanted, they could give them away. They can do anything they want with those properties, but generally, they want to sell them. How do they sell them? An oral bid auction is the normal way up until say 1995, and then at that point in time, they started integrating online sales. So now you can buy online, you can buy at oral bid auctions, you can get into combinations of those things. Some places will have auctions every single month. You take a place like Miami-Dade every single month, take a place like Los Angeles only once or twice a year. It's gonna depend upon what the county wants to do. Now the counties that are really well run, they will continuously have auctions every 10 days if they can, that way they get the properties back on the tax roll and they get the properties back uh, taken care of again. Places like New York, where people are abandoning property, New Jersey, they're abandoning property. They might take a year, year and a half to get those properties back on, on the tax roll because they don't get them sold. They go so slow. All right. So as I said, it could be oral bid or they could be a, uh, an online auction. doesn't matter which one. But the county has power. So the power the county has is if people don't pay the taxes, they can then go to the property owner and give due process of law and say, you haven't paid, you haven't paid, you haven't paid, and then they can confiscate the property. All right. Once they've confiscated the property, they don't want it. They want to get rid of it. So the auction rules will tell you exactly how they want to get rid of that property. Now, they'll give you the, the bidding process. They'll tell you the prices of the property. They'll tell you their estimate of value. They'll tell you anything you want to know, they'll disclose to you. They're not hiding anything. That doesn't mean they're going to warranty anything. It means they're not hiding anything. And so they might just end up giving you a quit claim deed, which simply means they disclaim anything. So you have to then go to a quiet title. All right. So 50% of the counties on a normal auction day will be selling tax defaulted property. There'll be another 50% of the counties in the United States selling tax lien certificates. Now, if they can't sell the tax lien certificates, those will also end up as deed auctions. What's a deed auction? It means the property has been defaulted. Now, if a property's defaulted, right away, a signal flag should go off in your mind. There's something wrong with the property. These are not A properties. They're not country club properties. These are properties people have abandoned. These are properties that people have used and abused. They are not brand new spanking properties. We're very rare to find anything like that. Now, who can purchase? Anybody can buy at a tax defaulted auction. You just need USA dollars. So if you happen to live in a foreign country and you are watching me, if you can get USA dollars to buy, 
you can buy in the United States, whether it's Canada, whether it's the United Kingdom, whether it's Italy or whether it's uh, Mexico or any place in the Pacific. If you're going to get American dollars, you can buy properties. All right. Now, these auctions are not get rich quick deals. OK, television makes this out to be, oh, you get one on Friday, by the next Friday, you're going to be wealthy. Or you see television shows where they're fixing the property up. All of those shows are entertainment. They're entertainment. They're not education. They're just entertaining you. If you think you can get a pretty woman to stand out in front of the property and direct men on what to do, and it's all going to come out as a beautiful property a couple of days later, that's not what's going to happen. These properties are going to take some work on your part. All right, so TV fixer-upper shows with a pretty girl are not realistic. Having a buying strategy before the auction is damn realistic. Because if you have a strategy, then you know exactly what to do. What are you going to do with that property? How are you going to sell it? So I teach a strategy that's simple as this. Buy it low, sell it low. If you get a $200,000 property, you get it for 20 cents on the dollar. Sell it for 40 cents on the dollar. Let someone else take care of that property. Now, who does these auctions? The counties, in many cases, county employees do the whole auction. That means you're going to have someone up there that doesn't know what they're doing very well. And they're just going to be bumbling their way through it. Well, I would prefer that to a professional auctioneer. Why? Because a professional auctioneer is trying to do what with the price? They're trying to push the price. The people are from the county. All they want to do is get it sold and get it back on the tax roll. Well, that was the original intent of the rules that the, they made for the government. The original intent was get property back on the tax roll. Now the counties have realized this could be a profit maker, so they make a profit as much as they can. I said, you will have to pay the auctioneer 10 or 12 percent. So if you bid $50,000, add another 10 or 12 percent, depending upon the auction, and that's how, how the auctioneer gets paid. Do I like that? No, I don't like that. I much prefer let their own employees do the job. So let me go through a couple other things. All right, I'm not a legal advisor. I'm not a CPA. I have no law training. I'm not a paralegal. I'm none of that. I'm just a guy that's done this for 30 years now as an investor. In 25 years, I've been teaching people. All right, these properties are used and abused, many of them abandoned. If you buy an abandoned property, you better know what you're doing. Because if the water doesn't work, you got real problems. If the roof leaks, you got real problems. All right, so how are you going to sell these properties? They're a piece of cake to sell if you price them right. So how do you price them right? You buy them low and you sell them low. And then after you're a big experienced person, then you can do anything you want. But if you follow my process, you put it on Craigslist, way under the market, you're going to sell it quickly. So use Craigslist, use eBay, use the online marketplace. If the property has a $100,000 value and you can sell it for $40,000, it's going to happen in days. I have clients sell $200,000, $300,000 properties in four and five days. Why? Because we buy it low and we sell it low. Now, before I go through a couple of the difficulties that I want you to avoid, I've got a couple of questions. Okay, the question comes up all the time. People say, well, Ted, should I go out and get myself an LLC before I get started? Well, first of all, if you understand what an LLC is, it's a limited liability company. That means you're starting a company before you even get into this. So I would not do that. If you're going to start a company, that means you're going to have recording and reporting to the federal government or the state government. So why don't you try one, see if you really like this, before you build up a company. What are you going to do with the company if you don't want to do this? So I wouldn't hurry into spending any money. I'd spend my money on education and learning how to do it. How do I work with investors? I have a big whip and I whip them. That's what I do. How do I work with investors? I encourage them to get out there and do something. Uh, this is an investor business. It's up to you. Uh, you're going to have to self-motivate yourself. If you want training, I can train you any way you want. Will I invest with you? No is the answer. Uh, will you invest with me? No you, is the answer. If you want to do, learn how to do this, I have coaches. I have the best coaching team in America. How can I say that? Well, they've been with me. Everyone's been with me more than 10 years. Everyone's a, a deal maker and they've done over 200 purchases and sale. So who do you want to learn from? You want to learn from people that are doing it. You don't want an apprentice. You don't want a journeyman. You want masters. All the people that work for me are masters. All right, let me cover a couple of things that you need to be careful of. All right, if you're a newcomer, these are big mistakes you make. If you make these big mistakes, you're going to lose your assets. You heard me right. You're going to lose your money. Do not buy a property that you haven't looked at. Why? Because something might have happened to it. Might have been a hurricane. Might have burned down. Many things happen to properties that you're not looking at. So don't buy a property you haven't looked at. Second strategy to avoid is don't bid on properties that you don't have an exit strategy. 
The beauty of these properties and these tax defaulted auction is you can look at every property, not on the inside, but on the outside. You can look at the outside of these properties. So you want to look at the properties, you want to look at the neighborhood. As a matter of fact, the neighborhood is more important than the property. You know, you can change the property, you can't change the neighborhood. So think about that. So you need to make sure that you've taken time to look at the property and you need to make sure you've picked an exit strategy so you can make it happen quickly. All right, now I have a gift for all of you that listened this long and you'd like to be part of my community. It's a one hour mini course and it teaches you about tax lien in the first part and it teaches you about tax deed in the second part and it's absolutely free and all you have to do is go below me and when you register, you'll get that free mini course and I'll see you in the next video.